Hey guys, I just wanted to show you, a, well, I don't know if it's going to be quick, but I just wanted to show you some of my NASCAR diecast cars and NASCAR video games and some other things that I have that are NASCAR related. Let's see. We've got the, I think this is 2009. Let me see. Um, yes, no, 2008. This is the 2008 Bass Pro Shop Chevy. This is 2007, I believe. Uh... 2008 as well. Now this I know is 2009. I actually broke the uh, spoiler off, or the wing by accident, so I made a, a spoiler. It's kind of coming unglued, but yeah, that's Jeff Gordon's 2009. Uh, this is a 2007 Tony Stewart uh, that my brother got in a claw machine because it has kind of a grippy surface. He was able to grab it with the claw, so that was cool. Um, we've got this. Yeah, I don't know. That's just cardboard, whatever. This was a an ornament. I don't know, some random whatever. This is Tony Stewart, 2010, I believe. I'm not sure what year this is. This is 2000, 2008. Wow, no way. That doesn't look like 2008. Well, anyway, it says 2008 on the bottom. Whatever. This is 2007, Jeff Gordon. Uh, oh, this is old. This is the number 44. I don't know what this year is. Uh, 99. Uh, well, that's not really NASCAR. We've got Cheerios Dodge. This is 2002, I think. Oh, it doesn't say, but I th I'm pretty sure it's 2002. Looks like a 2002 Dodge. Um, Jimmy Johnson, 2007, I know. These were the raced cars when the COT model just came out. This was like an ornament I got at Lowe's. Wheel broke off, so it's not very good. It was plastic. It was only like a buck, so I was like, hey, that's cool. Um, Casey Kane, 2009, I think. Uh, maybe 2010. No, that's 2009. Uh, 2010, Mark Martin. Um, that is a just a generic kind of whatever. Um, this was uh, something I sent in for. It's the hefty Chevy. Uh, you didn't have to send in five bucks or whatever. I don't know. That wasn't the smartest idea in the world. 2010 UPS Ford. Well, this was the Miss McDonald's one. I'm, a lot of these went out over the years. Found this one in a bin of cars, I think, at a, like a secondhand store. Uh, we've got Stacy Compton. I don't know if you can read that. Stacy Compton Dodge. This looks like kind of the same one as that one. Uh, here's another one of those McDonald's Fords. Uh, these two we acquired at a second-hand store. I think I still have the original one that we have somewhere. Maybe I don't. It's been through a lot of abuse. Um, we have the uh, Mega Block Jeff Gordon. Oh, this was his rainbow scheme. I remember getting this way back. This doesn't have a date, I bet, but this is old. Whew. What does that look like? 98? 99? Maybe 2000? Uh, Dale Earnhardt, I got this for a dollar. Or, my brother, this is actually my brother's. Uh, this was a dollar at Shopco, if you can believe it. That was pretty cool. I also got a Kevin Harvick, I don't know where that went exactly, but this is, uh, another Hot Wheels generic. 2006 Denny Hamlin, right? Pretty nice. Uh, 2007 Kyle Busch, COT. This is after he won at Bristol, so you can see the tire mark on the side there. Um, what else do we have here? Some random junk. Uh, Matt Kenseth. Um, kind of like a Ford, uh, GT. Got that. Um, and then this is Buddy Baker. Found this at an old store, and I thought that was kind of cool. It's a nice, I think it's a Dodge. Yes, it's a Dodge. It says Dodge. Alright, moving on to drawer number two. We've got, and I don't know if you have, if any of you guys have this, but this is the, uh, the Dale Jr. that will have damage, so, you know, if you're driving around, oh, I have a Jimmy Johnson one of this, too, where did he go, there he is, let me fix this here, okay, so, you know, Jr. and Johnson, they could be, like, driving in, and, oh, you wrecked me, look what you did to my rear, well, look what you did to my nose, so, yeah, there's those two. We've got Stewart wind-up car. These were like only three dollars, and you know most of these 64 scale are like five bucks. Well, these ones anyway. So three dollars for a bigger size one was pretty cool. And then this used to be a remote control car, and then the 
and mechanisms broke, so I took it apart, took out the motor, and it's just kind of a car now. Uh, another Jimmy Johnson, got a Dale Earnhardt one as well. I think I had a Jeff Gordon, or no, there was a Jeff Gordon remote control car. Yeah, here we go. There was a Jeff Gordon remote control car. That one still works to my knowledge, but I'm not sure. You can see it's been upside down several times. We have Dale Jr. in the Koi looking car, car of yesterday. I call it Koi. Um, what else do we have in here? Oh, Kevin Harvick, 2002. This is mine. My brother has the Dale Earnhardt. Uh, this is the 64 Rusty Wallace car from the, the Bush series. Uh, yes, Bell Helicopters. We've got the Office Depot Mustang. That's pretty cool. That's kind of... should be next to that one. Uh, we have... This is a magnetic Jeff Gordon. I think his tail is in here. Yep. Some of the wheels are broken off because of lots of abuse. I mean, these things are have been played with in years gone by. But this one is magnetic, so the body should come off. See if I can do that with one hand. See, you've got magnetic hood as well. Let's see here. Yeah, magnetic hood. So you can put this all together and stuff. And there we go. Put down the hood there and then put on the deck lid. So that's that. We've got some Earnhardt's here. We've got... This is when the movie Dale came out. So that was pretty cool. And that was... I think this was the Daytona 500 winning car. I'm not sure, but yeah. And then we've got 2006 Tony Stewart. I think that's 2006. Yeah, that's 2006. Goes along with Denny Hamlin. Mm-hmm. We have... We have Richard Petty... Um... Pez dispenser. We've got that. That's my brother's. Oh man, lots of NASCAR stuff. We have a Dale Earnhardt Jr. hauler. I think that's the only one of those. Another cardboard car. Uh, these are some of the magnetic wheels for Gordon. Where to go? There he is. Um, we've got. Bobby Labonte, the Boniva car. If you're still watching this, I'm amazed. Wow. But uh, I probably have a link in there to when we get to the video games. Now this is the special collection. Because I don't like to spend a lot of money on cars. We get the $3.87 scales. Oh yeah. Got the Bass Pro Shops, 2007. Uh, these, are, these are so cool. I mean, they're just so tiny. We've got Carl Edwards. We have 2008 Matt Kenseth. I think it's 2008. Yeah, it looks like a 2008 nose. Um, David Gilliland, 2007. Some of these might be 2006. I'm not sure. That's 2007 Newman. Ryan Newman. Uh, Jeff Burton. Before I went to... Uh, what's it called? AT&T. Singular. Uh, we've got Mark Martin. All right. Wish I had a Kevin Harvick. Um... Elliot Sadler, 2006, I think. Kyle Busch. Oh, nasty. Well, not really nasty, but anyways, that's a pretty cool car, I gotta say. But, uh, that's 2008. We got... Oh, we do have a Kevin Harvick, just not the Shell Pennzoil one. Uh, Mon Pablo Montoya. There, yes. Dale Jr., of course, yeah. Got him. him. Another Dale Jr., Hey, wait a second, that reminds me. There's another 87th Dale Jr. That one was never taken off the block yet. Um, we got some Jeff Gordon right there, 2006. And we've got 2009 Jeff Gordon. This one's pretty cool. Kind of matches the big brother right over there. Pretty cool. Anyways, we've got Jimmy Johnson. And finally, Kurt Busch. And that's all we've got for um, cars. Now it's time to move on to video games. Oh, yes. All right. Oh, by the way, one more thing. I bought a USB Jeff Gordon. And uh, I don't have that on me right now. I think it's plugged into my computer. It's in a bag or something. But moving on to video games. So I got this. At a video game store for three dollars, NASCAR racing. It was before I knew that um, 
that uh, NASCAR 2003 was the way to go. I thought this would have the great, same great physics, and it does not. So, sad day. But that's PlayStation 1. This is totally awesome. This is my brother's, but it is very much fun. If you like our NASCAR power, arcade action, you get Rumble. Yes. Password is KMZWA8AWAA. This is NASCAR Racing 2002 season. Right there. This one I got for like $8, I think, on eBay. Maybe $5. It was great. Uh, has great physics, some modification capabilities. It was great, 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 great. This I got for $45. Or no, $50. Which is not really too bad. I mean, considering $75 is kind of the norm. But it's 50 bucks. Great. Best NASCAR game in the world. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So many mods, so many good physics, uh, just awesome. Uh, NASCAR Thunder 2003. This was like the first NASCAR game really we ever played. I mean, we got it for PlayStation 1, and that's how we got hooked right there. Then this, I thought, would be a little bit better, but it's basically the same thing, just with updated cars. So it's the same thing. And other music. Dirt to Daytona. This one features blowovers and decent wrecks, 2002 season. Uh, four players at a time, which is pretty cool. Rated E, no. Uh, none of these NASCAR games have really any problems with them as far as rating goes. NASCAR 2003 for GameCube. My brother bought this initially, then I bought it from him. Or, I traded it, actually, for Burnout. Um, this was pretty sweet. Uh, one of the only GameCube NASCAR games. But it has some pretty good lightning challenges. Daytona Beach. Good music. NASCAR Chase for the Cup. This one was pretty good. I got this in a like a, a blockbuster after looking for it for a long time. Has the NASCAR Cup series and nationwide or Bush series, uh, the modified series, and then a truck series. And then you got production cars too. It's pretty cool. Uh, yep, it was. That's a pretty fun game. I like signing autographs. That's like the best part. Now this may look like Battlefield 1943, but it's actually NASCAR 08. And, um, this is an okay game, I guess. Um, I think I should have gone with NASCAR 09. I like, 2007 was, like, my favorite NASCAR season, so I was like, eh, this should be better. But, um, it's basically, like, Chase for the Cup, just, you know, updated. It has better crash physics, like, you can do a blowover pretty easy, and the barrel roll physics are a lot better than this, but still, NASCAR 2003 is, like, awesome. This has, like, way better graphics than 2003. But, um, the thing I don't like is it's hard to steer. You have to be, like, on the joystick, you have to be, like, <laughs> if you don't want to lose the car. You can't just be halfway turning with a steering wheel. So, yeah. I like how it has country on the menu music. And I respect country music. It's not really my favorite, but I do like NASCAR. Or, I like country music. So, I like how there was country music on NASCAR. Wait, but that is my NASCAR collection. Uh, we've got all kinds of stuff and uh thank you for watching through this 13 and a half minute movie so uh look uh look forward to some more videos